Now for Steven Strasburg. So he'll leave after a strong seven and two thirds here as he'll hope the bullpen can get the final four outs to secure his victory. Edwin Diaz answers the call to pitch here in a big spot. He inherits a bases loaded jam but needs just one out to get out of it. And he gets ahead here with the fastball strike one. Well these hitters can expect to see a heavy dose of that big fastball from this reliever. It's a major part of his arsenal. Tries to dump this one out to left. One run is scored. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. It's now a 6-3 contest. The way the game is played today, the leadoff guy, he drives in two runs, and you don't think a whole lot of it because he's now one of the guys that's an RBI producer. This is not your dad's old game. This is the new school. Here's Gregory Polanco. Dribbled to the right side. But that one rolls foul. And he lays off for ball one. Oh, he missed that pitch. I tell you what, as the pitcher, he's got to gain his composure. You can see guys fall apart if you see a ball in the zone that long, get called a ball on it. Line toward right center, but he will run this one down in right center. A tough L9, and the inning is over. So two runs on two base hits, no errors. You're Luke Gregerson. Play. Enters from the now pen to start the, the ninth game. inning as he'll try Number to keep the score one. right where it is heading to Ooh. the bottom of the ninth. Gregerson. And look at this. A bunt attempt to start the ninth. And the throw will be too Easy. late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. Well, this bunt part of his Seattle. game, you know he can fly. Right. And everybody on the field's anticipating it, but he dropped it in the perfect spot. And it looks like the Yankees will have a left-hander up and throwing in the bullpen. From the stretch, runners off for second. Hit sharply on the ground. Ah, oh, way to get dirty. Got him. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger. He's doubled and singled in four at-bats in this contest. And now the runner's trying for third. Now a step off, and they've got the runner between second and third. But he gets back in time safe at second base. And a step off. Runner's on his way to third. But he gets back in time safe at second base. He's set, and the pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. In He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Hey, that's not an easy thing to do, steal third base, especially off a catcher like this that has a good throwing arm. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Lined into right field, and it's going to get down, a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Well, that's a big hit. It's late in the game, that puts you up four runs. What that happens late in the game now with a four-run lead? A grand Murphy slam Jr. can't beat you if you happen to give one up. That's a big run. Coming to the plate now, Ken Griffey Jr. A couple of singles for him in four trips for him this afternoon. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Here's a fastball chopped foul at the plate. It's strike one. On the move again from first. Rolled slowly to first. And they tag him out, but this will work as a sort of a sacrifice as the runner moves up. So digging in now, Giancarlo Stanton. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hard on the ground towards short. Scorey picks it up. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. 
Pick up a run on two hits. Aaron Judge will stand in again, but first we'll flash you back to the very first inning of the ball game. And here you go, a solo home run that had him off and running early on. First offering on its way. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. The win would be Steven Strasburg's here, barring any late turn of events. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Sisk is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was now hoping batting. for. One a away. Trevor. Stepping up now, Trevor Story. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. A ball hit hard to the left side. But quick hands over there at third as he takes now it for batting. the second out. Third baseman. Ready for another chance. Schmidt. Mike Schmidt he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. Man, they've already put the all-time winning streak record in their rearview mirrors. But with every win, it gets further and further away. We could say this now. This is one of the greatest teams in the history of baseball. And this afternoon's game ends 7-3. to three. The M's with a big 17 hit attack. Steven Strasburg gets his 29th win and recording 16 strikeouts along the way. Edwin Diaz records four outs on his way to the save his league best 50th of the season. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. To find out more, head on over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners. Seven runs on 17 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For well, the Yankees, three runs on three hits. No errors. They left two men on base. The winning pitcher is Steven Strasburg, his 29th win of the season. The loss goes to James Paxton. He drops to 16 and 9. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. Thanks for joining us this afternoon, and please drive home safely.